Carly would want the boys to stay Don't here. Don't speak for Carly. This is their home, Sonny. And I'm her father. Come on, kids. Let's go home. You get the hell away from me! Please don't shoot us! Please! Listen, it's late. Okay, the boys are exhausted. Hey, boys, you don't have to change your clothes. You got, you got clothes at my house. Just put a coat on, get in the car, we'll leave. We'll see them tomorrow, Sonny. Okay, right now the boys need to stay here. They're worried about their mother. That's why they need to be with me until she's rescued. Why? They're perfectly happy waiting here. There's a crisis going on, and we're going to wait it out together like families do. It's not our night to visit you. Mom thinks we'll be here when she gets back. Yeah, you know, Mom would just rather us be here. Hey, boys, I'm just trying to do what's best for all of us. I think the boys have made that decision. I know you're Carly's husband, but I'm not going to back off just because you want me to. Sorry. And I'm going to tell you something else, all right? If you want to, if you want to look for Carly, you want to join the search. Fantastic. The sooner we find her, the better. Okay? But don't you for one second think that you can use this tragedy to stick a claim to my kids? <laughs> Remember? You need help, your baby. I don't need your help. help. Listen to me, okay? I know that you hate me, and I don't blame you. No, I need you have have a baby right for your home. kid. Right. Carly, you have a blood disease, right? Fine. Something with some initials. And if something happens right now that goes wrong, you're screwed. You shot okay? my son. You're gonna touch my daughter. I, my baby died inside of me. I'm not gonna let that happen to yours. I went up to your room, boys. No, no, no. You stay right there. Listen, kids, this has been a really tough night for everybody. Could you guys just go upstairs and give us a couple minutes to work this out? Yeah, come on. Thanks. Come on. Get out. Screw you. It's my house. They're Get my out. boys. Okay, could we talk about this like adults for one second? That you signed away custody, okay? You have no legal rights to Michael and Morgan whatsoever. Is that where you're gonna go? I don't give a damn about legal rights. Oh, I know you don't give a damn about legal rights, but I think a judge would have a different opinion. God forbid something happens to Carly tonight. Those boys are my responsibility. Do you understand that? Do you understand that you're an outsider? Okay. You don't belong with my kids, this is and you'll never take them away from me. They're already with me. The time or place for this. It's been a terrible night, especially for those kids. That's Everyone's why, scared. That, yes, yes, that's why they need their dad. Sonny, you've made your point. Really? Yes. Go over there. Side with him. I'm not. Sonny, I'm not do. taking sides with anyone except Michael and Morgan. If you're trying to prove that you're the great dad that you're always trying to be, let the boys stay where they are. They need love and reassurance, and that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, you two both need to just give this a rest for now. I agree. Right. Oh, you? Of course you agree. Because you get in your way. You've got two choices here, okay? You can stand here and you can argue with Jax all night or you can go home, say a prayer for Carly and try to get a couple hours of rest because you are going to need them tomorrow. If somebody told you to walk away from your son, how would you feel? Sorry. My friend was taken hostage. I'm just looking for her. No, no one else is here. Well, hey, have you seen her? Have you seen that there's a woman with dark hair, a woman with blonde hair, but nine months pregnant? I'm pretty sure she was driving a blue sedan. I saw one crash on the side of the road. That is our car. Get yourself pretty well set up here. I, told you I don't need you. Well, you're stuck with me, so uh, deal with it. Hmm? Is there a stove? Should I try to find a pot? Aren't we supposed to boil something? You have to sterilize the knife to cut them both. All right, well, I'm going to see what I can find. And, uh... Breathe, breathe. 
Any leads? No, nothing yet. Okay. You gotta put more men on the search. Every man in your employ is looking for Mrs. Corinthos and Mrs. Jack. How come Mrs. they haven't found anything? Look, the storm and the flooding have made it impossible. I don't want to hear it! Carly's out there with a psycho. Anything can happen. Carly and the baby are in danger every second they're out there. I understand that, sir. And you understand it, but you're telling me that all my men, all the goombas we have on the payroll who are fearless, can't find a woman who's dragging around a hostage in labor? Carly and the baby need to come home safely. I don't want to hear excuses. Yes, sir. Something's wrong. I keep pushing, but the baby's not moving. Oh! I think I feel your baby's head, and maybe, maybe the shoulders. Maybe the shoulders are stuck, or the head's in the wrong position. Any idea what you're talking about, or you're just making you, this up as you go? I've heard this happen before. You gotta push the shoulders down. What are you nuts? I, I, I can't push. What I if should I be in baby. a hospital having this baby, and I'm not? I'm stuck in this cabin with you because of you. You help me save my little girl. All right. Maybe Claudia was smart enough to get the cannon. Why don't you pull up whatever you got that shows uh, access roads and northbound highways? Yeah, I, I've been focused on the area around the Metro Court. All right, well, then check a little bit further out. Right. Okay, okay well, uh, this bank is on Lowell near the access ramp. All right. Well, we'll stop. Right there, back it up. Slow. Who's in the back seat? That's that's Carly. Sorry about the uh, disagreement between me and your father. We let our emotions get the better of us. Yeah, I guess we're all just really worried about mom. We are. But that doesn't help anyone for me to be arguing with your father. So I'm sorry about that. I just hope Dad isn't too mad that we didn't go with him. No, 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 no. He's not mad. He just wants what's best for you, and so do I. It's the police department. Excuse me. This is Jax. This is my fault. I should have just told Dad that Claudia got me shot. Why didn't you? Because I let Claudia work me. The woman who just kidnapped our mom. How could I have been such an idiot? Mom's gonna be okay. I mean, Jason and Dad are both looking for her. So are the police. Yeah, well, she'd be a lot better if it wasn't for me. Michael, it doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, I woke up from a coma totally ungrateful, going off on her at every chance I got. I was telling her that I didn't want to live at home. I was losing my temper. Mom's had a really dangerous pregnancy, and I just kept stressing her out. I'm amazed that something didn't happen before this. But it didn't. Mom's really happy you woke up. I am too. Look, Morgan, you've been awesome. Mom would have such a great life if it was just you and, and Jax and our baby sister. It's me. I'm the one who's the problem. Mom loves you. Yeah, but just because you love someone doesn't, doesn't mean they're good for you, you know?